of course, the, the, the big news yesterday, people want to hear, uh, of course, uh, Norm. Norm McDonald. Oh, my God. <sighs> what a bummer. That was a bummer. Uh, he, he died from cancer. He had cancer for nine years and didn't tell anybody, <laughs> which is a very Norm thing to do, I, I think. Uh, he didn't want anybody kind of judging him differently, looking at him differently. Uh, so he pretty much told, I think, nobody uh, that that's what the dealio was. Uh, it's weird over the years you, you look and now that you know, you could see there were sometimes he was uh, really heavy in the face. Like maybe he was taking some kind of a steroid drug or some shit. Uh, then other times he was really skinny. Uh, but, you know, fucking Norm. No one thought anything uh, bad about it. He didn't say anything. Uh, but he indeed had uh, cancer and died uh, yesterday. Terrible. Because uh, one of the comics that just uh, oh, didn't give a shit what anybody thought. Didn't give a shit what anyone thought. He just wanted to be funny. And he was. And uh, didn't, didn't, uh, didn't hold back because he thought, Someone's feelings might be hurt or it might be embarrassing. Some of his stuff is embarrassing to watch, not for him. It's embarrassing. You're embarrassed for the people that are there that he, he keeps going at it. The, one of the famous, uh, famous clips from The View very early on when Bob Wawotes used to uh, host it, and he just wouldn't stop calling the Clintons murderers and calling Bill Clinton a murderer. And they're trying to stop him. They're trying to change the subject. And he just won't have it. He will just keep saying it. Oh, manslaughter. He's like, it's so, it's so ruthless and funny. And he, they are genuinely getting pissed at him. Uh, yeah. I think we should get the homicide out of the White House. Homicide. Get like a, a, a fresh start. Because we don't want any more murderers. I no, think we, we should just go on to the next question. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Clinton, he murdered a guy. Yeah, you know, you're not, <laughs> no, you're not no, allowed to put out no, 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 accusations without That's a little Charlie. too far. That's the way it does let's work. Just, let's just go on to the next <laughs> question. Right. Yeah. This is not my week. What can I tell you? <laughs> oh, it's not mine either. I'm being very nice. Okay? Oh, are you? <laughs> Shut up. Uh-huh, be a good boy. Now, Norm. Do you never hear that? No. Listen, no, we don't need I to don't talk want to get about into that. this, and I don't want to hear it, and this is not the place to make those accusations. And you're supposed to be funny. Oh. Let's get he on. is being <laughs> hilariously funny. There you go. <laughs> this is a live show. Not for Why? Norm, but you have been properly chastised by Barbara, so I'm not going to ask the next question. I thought it was a matter of record. Shut no, up. Uh, <laughs> shut up. Okay. Let me do this. She's okay. literally telling him to <laughs> shut what, up. See, I, I, don't, I think we should get the... The, fu- the greatest part about it, and this is, you know, Norm always looked like it was just happenstance, whatever, the way he would talk and deliver stuff. It was such a great delivery he had because it looked very natural. And, and, and I, I don't know, I guess to some point it was. But the way he sits there and lets them get the shit out, he wasn't constantly going, oh, what, he's a murderer, and talking over them. He would stop. He did stop. And they would just keep going and, and telling him to shut up, let, letting them think he's going to shut up now because he hasn't said anything. And then, what? I thought it was a matter of record. Oh, my God. Like, he didn't fucking stop at all. He's doubling down every time. <laughs> it's so good. He uh, just one of the greats. Uh, it, it sucks when a, a guy like Norm um, very funny, irreverent, doesn't give a fuck uh, when we lose guys like that because uh, there's so few these days. And then you see some of the comics that like, oh, this is great. Uh, not great. I mean, some some of them had problems with uh, Norman. I, I have more respect for the ones that actually voice their problems. But you see other ones that are like, oh, we lost such a great comedy guy today. And then you look and these people have been just trying to get other comics canceled for their material. And Norm was, uh, he was beyond canceling. He was fired from SNL because the boss over there was an OJ fan. Uh, I, I don't know why. I, I guess because he was uh, something to do with the wide world of sports. 
he uh, he came up with the the Wide World of Sports show, and he met OJ and was friends with him. And when all the uh, OJ murdering people thing happened, and Norm's just Norm would not leave it alone. And I, I, the story goes that they were constantly faxing Saturday Night Live from the West Coast, where this guy was, and saying no, do, no more OJ jokes. Just stop it. And every time, Norm would crumble it up, throw it in the pail, go out and do OJ fucking jokes on the weekend update. Uh, and then when OJ was acquitted, uh, they sent another, he sent him another fax and said, uh, well, with his acquittal, uh, it's over. Do not do any more OJ jokes or you'll be fired. And uh, he goes fucking right out there and says, uh, <laughs> it, the, it's now legal to murder in the state of California. <laughs> the big picture, OJ. Uh, and that was it. That was the last of uh, Norm MacDonald doing Weekend Update until, you know, they brought him back to uh, host the show, which is another great thing where Norm just goes into how uh, he was uh, fired for not being funny enough, but now he's back hosting. And how did he get so funny over that period of time? Uh Everything is great. I went on a, a Norm McDonald watching binge and, uh, oh, watching all those clips of him. Him on Conan O'Brien and on Letterman were so good. Uh, the, they, they knew how to deal with Norm. Just let him go. Just let him go and kind of feign uh, that you're uh, a, little, a little disturbed by what he's talking about. Larry King even, even got Norm. He even got how funny Norm was. He had him on the show a few times. And uh, one of the funniest things when Norm is on Larry, try to find that one. Norm's on Larry talking about how deeply closeted he is. I'm a deeply closeted homosexual. <laughs> it's so fucking good. Because even Larry's confused and then he gets it and starts fucking laughing because it's hilarious. It's just enormous. Something great. people don't know about you. I'm a deeply closeted gay guy. No kidding. Well, I'm not coming out though. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you revealing here today? I'm I'm not revealing anything. I'm saying I'm deeply closeted. Well, that means you're gay. Well, I, I wouldn't say that. Why would I say that? I'm deeply closeted. <laughs> no, but I. That means you're very, very gay, but you don't want to come out. You're so closeted. That I refuse to say I'm gay. Right. Exactly. But that, doesn't that mean you're gay? Hey, 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 easy, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Something people. And then Norm just starts laughing because that's hilarious. You're so deeply closeted that you're almost anti-gay, you know? Hey, hey. Oh, God. But those were, you know, that was an interview with Norm. Just uh, so fucking funny. Uh, I did have the pleasure many uh, years ago on Sirius uh, XM to uh, sit down with, uh, with Norm, have an interview with him on the Opie and Anthony show with Jimmy. And uh, it was really cool. That was a great, uh, a great uh, time having him right there in front of you talking it's just norm with his his norm voice and uh telling stories he told the moth joke which just goes on forever and it's a simple fucking moth drawn to a light punchline at the end uh a lot of his bits just would go on and on and on and the payoff was always hysterical because it was norm and he just had that great great fucking delivery uh su such a shame um, God, I can't imagine. He was getting pretty spiritual uh, in the past few years. You'd see on Twitter, he would talk about things and life in general and life and death. He had some cancer humor in his, uh, in his act and the whole thing about battling and it's not a battle. Uh, you know, can <laughs> cancer just wins. And then it's like, no, it doesn't really win because... When you die, the cancer dies, so it's kind of a draw. Um, and I guess that came out of him being diagnosed like nine years ago. But he uh, he was doing the, his show and uh, living life, having a good time. So uh, that's pretty cool. But again, there's so few of these guys left that are willing to uh, put everything out like that.
and not give a flying fuck what anyone says, especially the industry people or the woke, uh, the people that want to cancel other other people. Uh, you know, he was he was totally against that, and uh, that was a good thing. So yesterday really sucked when it came to uh, when it came to that news.